The reality is you guys were right. Realistically, with rising interest rates and inflation, we probably would have gone down eventually. But after the slowdown in production, after the controversy last August, guys, we're out of money and we can't afford our office buildings anymore. There is a silver lining though. We were able to hold on to one asset, the old Langley house. So one little eviction notice to the tenants later, et voila, the new old Linus Media Group office. We're moving back in. Honestly, I see this as a win. I mean, before we grew too big for our britches, we used to shoot our videos here in this regular residential house. So why can't we do it again? It's where we created bangers like whole room water cooling, the ultimate RGB build guide, and more importantly, that time we pranked old Terran for a year. <laughs> I mean, realistically, if it worked for 10 people, it should work for 100 people. We just knew that creating an efficient layout was going to be a top priority. I mean, the first day I was here, I couldn't take two steps without <laughs> bumping into something or tripping over somebody. So we divided up the house by department and gave everyone an equal workspace. Just turned out that uh, some departments got a little bit more equal workspace than others. We're going to start in the living room. Oh, after we tell you about our sponsor, please don't skip. We really need the money. Build Redux. Not everyone has time to build themselves a PC. That's obvious. What's also obvious is that you should let the experts at Build Redux do that for you. Check them out at the link below. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Um, I think it's worse than I imagined. Oh my God, we moved the poor editors here too? Everybody's here, Linus. The whole company. In this corner where the Tech Quickie green screen used to be, we still have a green screen, but we've also got the writing department. How's the transition been, guys? It's been all right so far. I think I enjoy it. We had a power surge and my computer died. Hey, um, glass half full, you still have a computer. Uh, before they took the keys, we had everyone just kind of snatch everything that was within arm's reach, including their computers. So we're actually pretty good there, but the issue is that asking everyone to sneak a desk out seemed like a tall order. Realistically, <laughs> you look around, it's not like every one of these people could have had a traditional desk anyway. <laughs> That's why Jordan actually ah, came up with the idea of bunk desks. I mean, we just added the junior writing position, so they get the ground spots while the uh, senior writers get the top bunks. <laughs> nice. Don't worry, buddy. You'll get up here one day. While the view is good from the top, the commute uh, has some problems. We've got creator warehouse engineers working on improved solutions for this, which uh, you guys might catch later on in the video. Keep your eyes peeled. Uh, speaking of peeling, potatoes. You may already know from the tour of our potato farm that we do our best to give our staff their yard time. I, I don't mean that in a literal sense. I mean, no one's allowed outside without a pass. It, it, like yard time, like a prison, you know, uh, time away from your cell. It, it's a joke. <laughs> Quiet uh, on set. Now, one big challenge is going from four fridges to one has led to some significant food storage problems. So we started organizing pizza lunches every eating day. Everyone gets a slice <laughs> and hey, cleanup is easy too. Mm which is nice because we've been doing most of our vlogs here in the kitchen. It's like the good old days, only uh, cozier. He's contractually obligated to do that. Linus, we, okay, we gotta, we gotta shoot Technic now. We need the space, morph suit Adam. Okay. Thanks to AI, Apple's next iPad is Ooh, supposed to have a slide. sense of self. Linus, I can hear you talking. Come on. Yeah, not having sets anymore. The green screen's been getting a ton of action, which means the editing den has been absolutely bustling. We were originally planning to put logistics here, but uh, then I had a little brainstorm. They can't take this box truck back if they don't know where it is. I was concerned we wouldn't be able to pack all three of our surviving logistics members in here, but with how little of our inventory made it to the uh, new space, uh, it's not a problem. In fact, we're gonna have more room soon because uh, there's almost no work for them to do, is there? Oh no. Oh, hi Mark. Ah, I see you are working off of one of my favorite kinds of products. 
anything from a sponsor who hasn't abandoned us over our constant stream of controversies. <laughs> like you, Green. Please don't go away. Uh, oh, which by the way, brings us to one of the problems that we had to solve here, power delivery. You see, most Vancouver homes are serviced for about 10,000 watts, which sounds like a lot until you realize that across 100 people, that's like 100 watts each for all of their tech. And that's not including uh, appliances or air conditioning or... Who turned these on? Who turned these on? Doesn't include a budget for lights. I told you guys, there's no budget for lights. And working in the dark promotes positive chi. Look how much better we all feel right now. One of the ideas we had to solve this was to just have the editors work off of power efficient laptops, you know, the kind that can be quickly grabbed in a hurry. But we realized that most of what we had on hand just wasn't sufficient for any kind of computation heavy workload like rendering video. We're currently working on a solution using jailbroken PS5s, which draw less than 200 watts each as our standardized workstations. Uh, we're gonna have the files that you need to jailbreak the PS5 linked in the description below, but Sadly, we've run into some compatibility issues with Adobe Creative Suite 6, so the editors were allowed to keep their Windows machines for now, on the condition that they edit twice as many videos as before. Because they've got twice as much power. We even let them keep full-size desktop monitors, like these ones from ViewSonic, that uh, Landfest might want back at some point. They're not getting it back. <laughs> Sucks to be them. I mean, realistically, we're a great company that deserves their support anyway. Like, look at this. Ploof, um, this is a great workstation you've yeah, got here. it's very ergonomic. Uh, I was working on an upcoming video where we're giving away gaming rigs to people who ask for them in the comments. What? What? That's what you're working ask on, isn't it? Ask for them in the comments? Yeah. Oh, God. You know, and then this, here's the reroll every time someone actually wins. Don't worry, it's fine. It won't cost oh, anything. Oh, God. Now, as you can imagine, having so many people in a house that's designed for five, maybe six people, there are not enough bathrooms to go around. We tested out some solutions like a schedule or those vibrating pucks they hand out at restaurants that it turns out you can just take. But the best system ended up being earning bathroom time on a merit basis, which for me means anytime I want. Uh, excuse me. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. Again? Come on, you have your own bathroom. Oh. <sighs> Dude, I take it back. Go, go ahead. Jeez. What are you doing? You done? As for the post-lunch drop-off rush and uh, the low-merit individuals who uh, <laughs> just can never really earn any bathroom time, we operate a shuttle to the local Starbucks where our MAC address writer, Jonathan Horst, has made his office. <laughs> Fun fact, he blends in so well with the crowd of artsy fartsy people on the MacBooks. <laughs> He's been there for weeks and they haven't even noticed him. At this point, you probably have some questions about network infrastructure. The editors are clearly all connected to ethernet cables and uh, we've got some pretty high-end stuff we were able to snag right here. But where do these cables come from? Where do they go? Let me show you. One thing we will never compromise on is our ball and servers. And I mean, look, I knew that we could address almost all of our infrastructure issues if we just set people up to work remotely. And in fairness to me, I allowed most of the managers to work from home, but for everyone else, we've got to connect to new, 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 new Wanik and our 10 gig internet connection that we achieved by aggregating links from nine of our unsuspecting neighbors. <laughs> Thanks neighbors, right? Thanks neighbors. Let's check out the server. We wanted to put it downstairs where we could take advantage of the natural heat regulation of the basement, but now that we can't afford his executive level pay anymore, Luke enthusiastically volunteered to move back into the basement. Hey Luke, working harder, hardly working. F you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're such good friends. We can talk to each other like that. Oh, um, on our way upstairs then to see the server, we're gonna pass our business and procurement teams on the house's naturally embedded cushioned benches. With all the changes that we're making around here, we decided there was nothing more important than to streamline the money-making processes, and we're putting it all right into our script writing now. Hey, you make me any money today, Sherrod? Absolutely. Wait, are you on LinkedIn? No. 
He's not. As for any confidential calls, the business team just takes like those in their the cars. Of the situation here. In the car, Sven! Sorry, sorry, sorry. For f sakes, man! In the car! Okay, all right, sorry, sorry, my boss is- Just give me that. Oh. I'll just do oh. it. He'll talk to you in a minute. I gotta have a chat with him first. Meet me outside. Okay. I'll be out there eventually. Here, take your phone. Other than the occasional insubordination, I'd say this department is doing great. You guys doing great? Now for the server room. Oh, Dan. Um, good job. You wanna tell the people about what we've got going on here? This uh, used to be an um, infrastructure map and now it's this, which uh, is great. Yeah, um, thanks, I guess. Oh, yeah, uh, so this is our like unified rack. We had to send the Hammonds back. Yep. Uh, our internet comes in through here. Through the window? No, no, it's it's on the floor. I don't want it running through my office. Bring it in through the window. Okay. Okay. Uh, By tomorrow. Uh, uh, and then we've got the the portable NAS over there. Yeah. We don't have Wanik anymore. And then these serve the mother vault. Ah, we so went back to the old vault. You got like 20 terabytes now. Wow, and Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah. Uh, no one else is allowed to connect to this one though, right? This is mine? Six. Uh, y yeah, sure. I prefer yes to sure. I can't change this anymore. Obviously, there's still some work for you to do then, Dan, but yeah. there's some really cool stuff. Like, this is still a working bathroom. Check this out. I can wash my hands. No, it gets so hot! Honestly, this whole place is kind of hot. Not only is every computer a space heater, but every one of my world-class meat sacks produces around another 80 watts, meaning we're at 18,000 watts. How do we cool that? Well, initially we tried opening the windows. Pretty good idea, right? But then people started abusing their privileges, so we had to think outside the box. You've seen water-cooled room. You've seen water-cooled chair. Have you seen water-cooled humans? In here, we've got our camera storage, which we don't have a lot of it, but hey, we don't have a lot of studio space anymore. So win-win uh, and our amazing accounting department. <laughs> this is pretty cool, right? All we needed was a couple pumps, some tubes, some painkillers, and a garbage bag. It just runs in there. Then to prevent them from getting swamp butt, we use camping chairs. So any extra moisture just collects in the bottom and then seeps into the carpet where it can be dissipated into the rest of the room. Um, speaking of collection, guys, is there any money today? Are you playing video games? Uh, I'm actually working. Enough of these guys, who likes accountants anyway? Now let's see what Creator Warehouse is up to. You um, might remember there being more people on the team and you're right. We sent half of them on a trip to China to work closer with our manufacturers, literally. Then to save money and keep our prices low for you, we canceled their return airfare. That's a lose win win. Uh, what are the engineers working on? I can't help feeling like we used to draw things on computers. We still can, this is dead though. And this way, getting a sign off is much easier too. Oh yeah. Ready to go to the manufacturers. Fun fact, uh, this is Nick's old office back when we were working out of this house the first time. Just now he shares it with uh, about eight other people. Yeah, and we still get kicked out on Fridays for the WAN show. Here on the other side of our now in-house screwdriver production facility, we've got our social team. As you guys probably know, Twitter and TikTok don't pay particularly well and we had to cost down, but we can't stop the content mill. So these guys just need to take up a little less space than before. You guys are doing good? This is Sebastian, I have a question. I have a question for you. Why are you not posting cat memes? I only get paid in cloud exposure. <laughs> I'm wondering if we can- uh, That's a good that. question. Why don't we turn our attention to the fashion team? What are you working on? So right now, you know, just measuring some fabric for some new styles, testing out to make sure that the GSM is what we want, whether we want a heavyweight or lightweight garment, uh -huh. you know, all that good stuff. Right, but have you costed it down? Yes. Like course. way down. I know, yeah. We're talking cents. And that's why it's red. <laughs> Dyed red with the blood. Oh God. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the final corner of this spacious office, we've got Alameda. Um, It's a little tougher to measure things, I guess, without a table. How do you do it now? Well, you go on the floor. Why does this have blood on it? 
Yeah. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into it, just like we do with all of our merch at LTT store. Yeah. yeah. You heard it here first. One in every hundred shirts will have authentic Sarah tears on it. And to show we care about our customers just as much as our employees, we kept over 19% of our customer care team right here in the closet. Thanks, Nolan. You're doing God's work. You're welcome. I tell him I'm God. There's not much to see in here, though. It's basically like the rest of the house. I mean, look at this awful paint job. <laughs> Do they even know what eggshell is? Uh, I, I mean, I guess I've got my plants and... Uh, I, oh, this is where I have my visions. This isn't the time for work though. I'm giving you guys a tour. Now you might wonder why exactly it is that I need my own exit from the building. And it's because, just because my job is to have visions doesn't mean that I have to like, see all of the people who execute them. It feels good to be outside. Ah, by the way, this is where we're shooting short circuit these days. Let's go have a look. It's just like the old days. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to check out another video, like the one where we learned to sous vide a sausage. That's a good one. <laughs> it took a really long time because the uh, heater on this hot tub doesn't work so good. But hey, I mean, look, we're ready for all the different elements. Bell even has a full 40% of this uh, woo, hot tub covered. Doing good in there? It'll be warm soon. At least it would if we'd ever paid the gas bill. <sighs> oh, there's our parking lot. The neighbors don't really like it, but uh, them. This is fun, right? I mean, securing a parking spot at the old office was almost a blood sport. So as you can imagine this, it's more like the Thunderdome. A hundred people enter, one person gets rich. <laughs> you know, like the uh, Angry Maxwell movie. In the meantime, we've developed an efficient system for fitting an incredible 30 whole cars where our neighbors used to access their garages. And the only scratches are from when they get keyed. We really are making the best out of what could have been a tough situation, but you know what I always say? What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Feel stronger. Oh, we ended up in HR. They suck. Let's go look at the lab. Sorry for breathing. Things are a little tight in here, but we're making it work. How's it going, Gary? It's going great today. All right. Let's see then if All you right. can handle this. One All more right. time. Okay. What's better, G-Force or ARC? ARC. Oh! Okay. Again, G-Force, arc. Arc! Oh! He's gonna get it eventually. How's it going, John? We got a lot of space here. That's a good attitude. I like to hear that. And what are you working on? We're retesting the XTX because everybody keeps complaining about it. Oh, that's a good idea. Actually, there's a, there's a lot of kind of uh, redoing that's been going on, including adjusting the labs as attitude. Antoine here is undergoing a mandatory new oh, training oh, program. Antoine, we've been through this. We live as a team, we die as a team. It is amazing how many tax write-offs you can fit in this bad boy. Infinite money glitch. Yeah, it all kind of came together. I was worried it would be a tough transition, but instead it feels like going back to our roots. And guys, this is just the beginning. We've got all kinds of great content planned for you guys, like uh, whole human water cooling V2, where we actually mix the chilled liquid with their blood, which is gonna be really cool. Oh, and my personal favorite, the best tech for faking your death and leaving the country. Uh, on that subject, hey, uh, shout out ViewSonic and Landfest for lending us those monitors that uh, you can get back if you can find us. Good luck though, because the only people we give this address to are the ones that send us checks, like our sponsor. Squarespace, whether you're starting a new business or growing an existing one, a functional and informative website is key to taking things to the next level. Squarespace's user-friendly, all-in-one platform uses intuitive drag and drop elements so you can make an eye-catching and engaging page for your audience to interact with, all with no coding experience required. And if you're building out something a little more custom, their asset library lets you manage all your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. Use it anywhere. But if you're having a little trouble or just need some inspiration, you can check out their comprehensive guides and call up their 24 seven support team. Help, help, I need help. Oh, thank you. And after your website's up and running, use advanced analytical insights to see what you're doing right and what needs a little tweaking. So if you need a website, and and you do, I mean, I've ever, everyone does. Think Squarespace. Head to squarespace.com forward slash LTT and get 10% off today. 
What was that? Robert? Wait, who's that? Hey! No! 